Okay, so here's the CS15. I have to admit that this sound uh, there's nothing particularly exciting about this sound in itself, but it does demonstrate some functionality that the Yamaha CS15 has that some other synthesizers, especially of this era, lack, and some things that people like today may not pursue uh, just by virtue of the fact that well things are different now. But if we look at this, uh, all the settings over here are pretty reasonable. We're not using the glide. The pitch is straight. There's nothing going on. The LFO is set to a sine wave, and it's relatively slow, which will come in. There's a little bit of portamento. Um, this oscillator is set to 16 feet and a square wave. It has pulse width modulation going on with a very slow LFO, so it's slow. The second oscillator is a triangle, which makes it somewhat quiet, more subdued. Uh, and then pulse width, of course, doesn't matter. It's also at 16 feet. Um, in the mixer section, the VCO1, the square wave, is about halfway. And VCO2, the triangle wave, is less. Um, the VCF for the square wave is, the big thing about it, it's in band pass and it has resonance going. And it has some envelope depth to it, no LFO mod. The other oscillator, the triangle, is set to bandpass as well, but has a lot of resonance and a higher cutoff frequency, uh, no EG depth, and no LFO mod. The VCAs are set to just standard settings, but I do have these separated out so that the envelopes, envelope one is controlling the VCA of the first oscillator, and envelope two is controlling the VCA of the second oscillator. And herein lies the big thing about the Yamaha CS15. Apart from the LFO, these are two different synthesizers just sitting here, ready to be set to different sounds. And that's what's so amazing. Because, okay, let's listen to these individual sounds. Here's what oscillator one is doing. Here's what oscillator two is doing. They are very different sounds. They have different, just about every aspect of them is different. And you can layer them together. So you have the, the short chirpy sound of VCO2 on top of the l wider, sort of more expansive sound of VCO1. And most synthesizers don't have two VCAs. Most synthesizers don't have two VCFs. Um, so usually you have two oscillators going through one VCF and one VCA and often have two envelopes. So the two envelopes are rarely something you could direct to different places. And if you look at the VCFs, um, we, can, we have the positive envelope one, negative envelope one, and positive envelope two. We have in VCF two, positive EG1, uh, positive EG2 and negative EG2. So you have these options, these routing options that are almost modular in their power. So that's what's so awesome about the CS15 is that you can have, you can make two completely distinct sounds that are completely different and put them together to make a new sound. <laughs> Now it's and and that's the great strength of the CS15. But I just wanted to demonstrate that with this sound, even though the sound wasn't thrilling, this is what this thing is capable of.